Oh, she strutted right here for five minutes or more. Yes. He goes out. I don't. I can just see his tail. Got him. Hello, darling. Hey, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Ooh, all right, retake. Son of a bitch out my way. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It has been a long time since I made a video. It's been going on about two months now. And that's just due to, I have a full-time job now, so I've been super busy, haven't been able to get on the YouTube videos. But here recently, I had the extra money laying around, so I decided to go pick up the Gauntlet 30 PCP. There was a guy about a year ago, he'd comment on every one of my air gun videos saying get a PCP air gun. Um, I think he was wanting the Benjamin or something like that, which was a lot cheaper than this thing. I probably should have got a Benjamin, honestly. But uh, I figured if I was going to get one, I might as well go big. So I bought a big 30 caliber, which is still a budget PCP. Out the door, this was 15 50, or uh, Out the door, this was $515 just for the bear rifle and I paid another 75 bucks for this scope right here this is a penny 4x16 by 16 by 40 it has a zero reset on it so when I sight it in at 50 I can set my scope back to zero which it is now um, I was out here yesterday I was going to bring you all along but I figured by the time I had zeroed the rifle in and stuff to do my five shot groups and all that it'd be raining and as I went down to get the last target it started raining on me this is by far the coolest rifle I own. I mean, that includes centerfire rifles. Like, I love this thing more than anything. This has the capability of putting down a coyote with ease. A lot of people shoot coyotes with them. It's shooting 100 foot pounds of energy downrange. So, I mean, it's packing a punch. And I'm shooting 44.75 grain uh, Diablo Exacts out of this thing. These things are massive. Like these pellets are huge. They really don't do them no justice. Here's the can here. Um, I'll do a comparison to like a 177 to one of these and a 22 and a 22 250 long rifle bullet to one of these. These are bigger than this, a diameter of a 308. So if that gives you an idea, these pellets are huge. But the video today is not going to be super long. Um, I just wanted to check in with everybody, let you all know, yeah, I am alive. Like I said, I just got a full-time job, so it's hard to do YouTube on the side. But I get a little bit of time, so I'm gonna, with this little bit of time I'm getting, I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can to bring them out to you. Um, next weekend, we're going to be going to a PCP long-range shooting thing. My buddy's setting up, and uh, we're going to be shooting PCP air guns super far. So I'm excited to see how this performs at 100 and beyond. Uh, I think it'll do fine at 100, but when I get out to 150, that's where I think it's gonna be a little challenging for me. But I have seen people on the internet shoot 300 yards, hit beer cans with this thing with ease. So this is like a tactical rifle. You can adjust the stock, bring it up. You can put a silencer on the end, which I am. I'm about to order one for it. It's super loud, so I'm definitely gonna be getting a suppressor for the front. You know, they threaded the barrel, that way you can put one in it, so. Anyway, like I say, I got a GoPro down there on the target right now. I'm shooting 50 yards, identical to where I'm sighted in right now. I'm only using the single loader instead of the uh, mags. I got two mags that come with this rifle. But uh, I figured today we'll just bring the single tray and just single shot load it. No biggie. But I have a cell phone downrange at 50 yards on the money from exactly where I'm sitting to there. It's an old phone. I want to see the damage I could do with this. I've shot it on paper and stuff the past couple days. I love it. It's time to see what the damage can do. But before I do that, I need something that lets me get a little bit lower. I don't like having to arc my rifle up to shoot. So I'm going to go in, switch this cushion out real quick, and I'm going to send one downrange at that phone. 
Another thing is this thing's regulated for 4,500 PSI. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's 2,800 PSI per shot up to. So you're talking about whopping. Like I said, 100 foot pounds of energy. So all the air guns, just to give you an idea, every air gun I've ever owned was pushing maybe 35 foot pounds of energy. Um, so this thing's a beast. Get down there, like I say, we're at 50. I ran some with the bush nails and see what we can do to this farm. I mean, exploded it. <laughs> Hopefully the GoPro got it on there. <clears throat> I'm telling y'all. You see how loud this thing is, too? I'm telling you, this thing's a, it's a beast. So the GoPro ended up overheating shortly after the shot. I'm hoping at least. I hope I at least caught the thing. I'm watching it in my scope just explode. But, uh, so I at least hope it got the phone exploding. But yeah, like I say, I'm alive, I'm doing good. I've just been working too much to get out and do YouTube videos like I used to, but I have missed it. Um, like I say, next weekend I plan on doing another video and I'm gonna try to get it out that night that we film it. So, y'all be sure to come back and tune into that. And with that, this has been Hunt Fish and Hob Outdoors. I'm your host, Trey. Thank y'all for watching and uh, I'd highly recommend checking out the Gauntlet 30 Cal. This thing is a absolute beast. I got him. I got him.